Hello, my name is Mislav. I am a FileMaker developer. I work at Salian Consulting and we develop custom applications using FileMaker, PHP, and Salesforce.com. There are quite a few utility files out there that help you write SQL queries for FileMaker's execute SQL function. This one here was created in a way that makes it easy to type out the query instead of using a wizard to construct the query. Using wizards to construct your query can work great, especially if you're new to SQL, but I find I prefer to type out my query by hand. Doing so in the data viewer works just fine, but there are some small annoyances to doing it that way that were enough to motivate me to write a tool that works really well for me, and hopefully some of you will find it to be helpful as well. So the first thing I'll show you is the sample data that I have included with this file. This shows the states and the bodies of water that form the coastlines for some of those states. For example, here are the states that border the Atlantic Ocean. Next I'll write out a very simple query. When you click Run, the result of your query will be shown in the upper right section. Here you can also see how long it took for the query to run, as well as how many values or rows were returned. Let's make the query a bit more complex. Once the query gets to be kind of busy like it is here, it becomes important to write it in a way that is readable. We can click Format to do that. And by the way, you can also add comments to your query. The only thing is, formatting will move the comments to the top. Next, let's see how we can use parameters with our query. To do that, let's add a WHERE clause. Click Format. We'll need to add the execute SQL wrapper. And then add an argument. Click Run. And now we see the list of states that border the Great Lakes. Of course, we could have put Great Lakes inside the query, but just for the purpose of having an example to show how we can use the question mark argument, I did it this way. Let's take a look at the table names and field names section next. Here you have a quick reference to your database schema. So as you're writing your query, if you can't remember the exact name of a particular field that you want to include, you can use this area to look it up. Suppose you wanted to see the field names for just the state table. We can click anywhere on that row. We don't need to actually select state and then click Add, and now we just see those fields. Let's add one of these fields to our query. Copy it, and add it here. Click Run. Suppose that we made a mistake in our query. Let's add a couple of extra letters here. The red text makes it very obvious that there is a problem. We can copy all of this text. There's a little utility button here. Open up the data viewer, and paste it in there and click Monitor, and you can see what the problem was. I want to point something out here. Unfortunately, clicking Evaluate Now won't work. I'm not exactly sure why that is, but you had to click Monitor to see the error. And just to be clear, I didn't come up with this method. This is using a custom function that is something that comes from the fmfunctions.com website and was written by Andres Halen. Next, I'll show you how we can abstract the table and field names. In the interest of not wasting your time, let's use a simpler query so that I can show this to you a bit faster. It's important to abstract table and field names because otherwise, if you don't, and then at some later point you change the name of a table or a field, then your query will no longer work. So let's select a field name. Click anywhere on that field's row. Once you click out of the field, you'll notice it's set here. Now you can just go to the query, click on the field, and click Abstract Field Name. The execute SQL and the let statement get added for you automatically. Click run to make sure it still works. And now you can use this expression in a calculation field or maybe somewhere in your script. Next I'll talk about how to use this module in your own solution. You can add table occurrences from your solution to this file, or you can install this module to your solution. Installing it takes about a minute. Open up the readme script, and the installation steps are right there. There's also a script that you can run to make sure that the installation was done correctly. Let's take a look at the configuration script next. You can configure a couple of different settings here. You can specify which field you want to use for this module. You can decide if you want to use underscores to denote variables that are declared in the let statement. You can put spaces as padding around parentheses. You can change the color that we use to denote SQL keywords and let statement variables. 
You can specify different names for the custom functions that are used in this module. And you can specify if we should automatically place the result of the query in the user's clipboard. Well, I hope this has been helpful. This tool can be downloaded from modularfilemaker.org. And that's it. Thank you for watching.